Right, so as hundreds of concrete workers have agreed to return to work, progress continues today on the West Seattle Bridge. A lot of people on West Seattle looking forward to this day. Uh, SDOT says structural concrete pouring starts today, moving this project uh, forward, hopefully. So Fox 13's Dan Griffin is live near West Seattle, uh, the West Seattle Bridge. Dan, how's it looking this morning? Is work actually started there with the concrete? Well, we've definitely seen concrete trucks come and go on the bridge here, and cars have been honking as they come by. I assume that's because they're so excited about seeing this work happening. Maybe. Maybe they're excited to see us, too. But we know that there is some stuff going on, some work happening on the bridge this morning. And earlier this month, Mayor Bruce Harrell uh, was quoted in an SDOT email saying that he thinks that the mid-2022 target for reopening the bridge may not be impacted by the strike. We know that hundreds of concrete workers have agreed in good faith to come back. SDOT says that it will start those structural concrete pours on the bridge today. So that's what we've been watching here this morning is to see those concrete trucks coming back and forth. Those union workers with the Teamsters, Local 174, had been on strike for nearly six months, demanding better wages, benefits, and working conditions. But some workers and dump truck drivers actually returned to work unconditionally in good faith, even as contract negotiations are still happening. Now, there were also projects impacted by delays, including Sound Transit's link extension. WashDOT also faced delayed work, in addition to the bridge here. The concrete is another challenge to, to stack on top of the rest of the challenges that we face. It's a different tactic is what it is. Um, we've been out for five months and it hasn't just been us. It's been all the supportive trades. It's been the public too that's been suffering along with all of us through this. Now, SDOT says as concrete pours progress, it will move the project closer to next steps, including giving it added strength. They will do some final rounds of epoxy injections and carbon fiber wrapping. And after that, SDOT says that there will be testing and preparing to open the bridge, hopefully along that mid-2022 uh, project deadline they've been aiming for. Of course, we'll be here checking in and watching and bring you the very latest as we get it. Now reporting live, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.